Hi there! Welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk about books, witchy stuff, paganism, spirituality, now planning, and I feel like worlds are colliding because just this morning I received an email from Erin Condren. They're like team, not from her personally, obviously. That would be weird, right? Um, but kind of cool. But anyway, off topic. So they have announced that their Faith Daily Life Planners are now going to be sold online in their shop. Previously they were sold on QVC. They had the Christian Daily Planners. I'm not sure if they had the Faith Planners on QVC. I first heard about this a couple days ago uh, watching one of Plan Sarah Plan's videos. She went through and did like a full flip through of the Christian Daily Planner. Um, it seemed like she really loved it. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. Now, I'm not Christian. Um, if you look at my YouTube channel, it's pretty clear that I'm not Christian. But I think that it's really awesome that Erin Condren, uh, the company, the person, whomever, came out with a other than Christian faith planner. Now, I have, I of course have critiques because nothing, no one is perfect. And even though we can say like, hey, it's really, really good that this company is trying to diversify and do something that's like maybe a little bit different, bringing more clients, audience in, love that. Not that anyone has to. I personally don't think that you have to. Um, but I want to congratulate any company that goes out of their way to try. Now, let's try to help them be better, okay? So, like I said before, no one is free of criticism. We can always all be better, myself included. That is just what this is. This isn't intended to be a hateful thing. I'm not hating on Christians in any sort of way. It's just, if they want to have a more inclusive faith planner, this is how I think that they could do it to link in neo-pagans, pagans, which is people from my perspective. So what I say about anything other than what I personally practice or have practiced, which includes Christianity, um, all of that is just like my very basic opinion not coming from someone who is a practitioner who does follow those faiths. And I want to make that super clear. I don't mean for anything that I say to be um, offensive to anyone of a different faith than me, but um, I at least want to give like some perspective in there. And if you are of that faith and you can kind of like embellish on what I'm saying or correct me or like put your own two cents in the comments, that's super awesome. I think that this is a great conversation for us to have. So the other disclaimer that I want to put out there, again, very obvious, this is not necessarily a product that is for me. I do not have a daily religious spiritual faith practice. I did at one point. Um, I don't do that right now at this point in my life because of everything else that is going on. If I did have one, that would be like super cool, but I just don't at this time. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think that you have to have a daily practice in order to consider yourself religious or spiritual. But I love that the option is out there for people who maybe want something more structured like this product. And even though this product isn't necessarily like for me as a consumer, I still think that it's important to talk about some of the ways that maybe it could be more um, suited to my tastes in the future or in the past whenever I did sort of want to practice more regularly or more daily, having like more scheduled time for practice. Whereas now my practice is more so um, when I need it based or when I can find the time. I have goals that I make, but I mean, life happens. That's that. Oh, so the last disclaimer that I'll make is that I have used Erin Condren before. I don't currently use an Erin Condren life planner now. I wanted to, I wanted to so badly. I ordered it, but there was an issue with uh, shipping and some communication from the customer service standpoint, and I got really fed up. 
Uh, basically, I tried to get something from their most recent launch and I didn't have a great experience with that. That is neither here nor there. I don't care. I feel like Erin Condren has, as a company, has been making a lot of improvements over the past year. Like, they had some drama back in 2020. I see Erin Condren as the company making a lot of progress, like, positive steps forward, and we should encourage that. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm just going to, like, scoot over a little bit, and I'm going to put some screenshots in here. Also, the link to their planners will be in the description down below. So if you want to go and look at it yourself or scroll through with me and zoom in on some of this stuff, by all means, I highly suggest that. I am just pulling screenshots from the website. I've got it pulled up here. And um, we're just going to kind of talk through what they show us. Obviously, I don't have the planner in my hands, but uh, let's do the best that we can with what they give us from the website. So there you go. Uh, the first one. OK, so first of all, for the Faith Journal, I think A5 size is good. That's it's small, but it's not too small. You have plenty of space to write, but it's not too, too much. The one that I specifically clicked on does allow you to personalize the quote that is on the front cover and some of the colors. Overall, aesthetically, like the colors and the typography, I, I love. I think that it's really pretty. I think that it's very calming. It's a nice aesthetic overall. I think that it's great that they allow you to do the customization. Um, obviously, like this is a thing that they do on most of their planners, so this isn't something new. But it is just a way for you to make it more personal to your practice. So no problems here on the cover or on the overall like color layout design. I'm I'm a fan for sure. So this next one, it they give a very brief, and again I'm looking over here. I should actually. Let's put the picture here, because I'm looking in this direction anyway, so it'll be like I'm looking at it. <gasps> That's brilliant. Okay, so switching around. So then we have a couple of pages on how to use this daily faith journal. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the word faith. I feel like this makes a lot of sense for Christians, but as a non-Christian, that word gives me the heebie-jeebies. And the reason being is that faith is very much so in our culture, it's just so tied into Christianity. And that might just be a me personal thing, but I think that it would be better to even say spirituality. Um, I know that they're using the word faith to be kind of more all encompassing, but that's not how everyone thinks of it. So it's. It's just, it, it's one of those words because, and I wish, I don't feel like pulling out my Bible. I have lots of, again, religious studies minor, but um, there, there's so much emphasis on faith in the Christian sense that I feel like they may not realize that in other religions, faith isn't as heavily like indoctrinated or isn't as heavily relied on in other religions or in other spiritualities what have you so it's I know that that is like something really crazy for me like it's such a small detail that you could easily look over but as someone who's not Christian when I look at this and I see faith um, for a daily faith journal, the first thing I think of is Christian. And maybe that's because I grew up in the south of the United States. I grew up in the Bible Belt. So it's just like, that's immediately what I see. All right, so they have checking in, monthly and weekly planning, daily journaling and planning, reflections and notes. Um, you can probably zoom in on this picture in the, um, website, but it doesn't look like, I mean, it's meant to, especially this version is meant to be way more open-ended. If you want, I, I highly suggest that you look at Plan Sarah Plan's uh, video of the Christian daily planner to get an idea more so of how this is laid out, like in depth. 
but this is more of the perspective of taking the Christianity out. And so let's talk about that real quick. Quick, So I'm going to scoot back to the center. There is something to be said in the U.S. whenever you have a Christian daily faith planner and an other daily faith planner. Now, again, you can say that I'm reading too much into this, but there is a reason why people like get their degrees in things like marketing. It's because these these things matter. Um, people automatically assume that you're Christian. I've talked about this in a video before, at least where I am from. They soon as they meet you if your values line up with theirs and they like you as a person and they're a christian they're going to assume that you're a christian and that could be true for like many different faiths i don't know it's not necessarily a bad thing but the issue is that whenever you have christian and other you're very clearly saying that all of these other faiths, spiritualities, religions, what have you, they can just kind of be put into this basket of just non-Christian. There, There's just something to be said about Christian and other. It's like the other religions don't deserve their own and I'm not even saying like that Aaron Contra necessarily has to make one for each and every single religion that's a little bit crazy because even in the Christian like faith even in the Christian religion there are so many different thousands of ways to practice that like for every person there is a different religion like no two people practice the same religion the same instead of like actually thinking what do other faiths need it seems as though they took the christian planner and just removed the word christian i don't know that aaron condren as the company as the design team researchers whoever that they actually put the time into how other people talk about their religion their spirituality their practice or if it was just, let's take the Christian aspect out of it and then it should be fine. There are very different ways of looking at religion and that's why even one definition of the word religion hardly ever works for every single religion or person. Like even whenever you're looking at witchcraft and paganism and neo-paganism, like people have different ways of defining that. Like shit, even there are different ways to define the word atheist. Like you would think that that would be simple enough. No, there are multiple ways to define that term and people do and people debate about that. So I think that it's just, it. there are steps that can be taken to make this more uh, suitable for other faiths and not just from, oh, this is what other faiths want from a Christian perspective. I really hope that that made sense. I'm going to try and edit this together so that it does. Um, but yes, that is my ramble on that. And I'll probably think of more things. Anyway, okay, so before you go into Scooting back over. So before you go into the first month, you're going to have important days this month. And looking at this as a witch, as a pagan, the first thing that I think of are astrological, um, different transits, full moon, new moon, sabbats, um, anything sort of like that that I might be interested in celebrating or honoring during the month. Obviously, or if you are follow following a different faith, you can put your own in here. And I think that it's, it's a good size box. It's a good chunk of a box to be able to break this up how you want to. Um, and yeah, no problem. Uh, and then you just have a little block for this month's goals. So for me, it makes more sense to almost have like habits than goals. Um, but again, that's for me personally, like something like meditate once a day, um, pull a tarot card once a day, do a ritual. Like I'm trying to think of goals that you could actually do versus like habits. So... I don't know about that one. I'm a little bit confused. But anyway, there you go. 
uh, important topics to reflect on this month. So I think that that's pretty cool. So we just had Beltane not too long ago. And one of the ways that you could apply this to Beltane, Beltane, I think is how some other people say it, is um, you could look at it in the sense of like, okay, during this month, I'm going to reflect on the idea of fertility and abundance, like almost having that focus word. I, I, I don't know. It's like important topics to reflect on this month. I wish that I had a side by side of this with the Christian planner because this kind of goes back on where I think that maybe they just replace the word Christian or God with like non-Christian, non-God. I, I need to actually, let me go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, and by the way, these are only $20, which for Erin Condren is like really, really good. And it's high quality paper. It's a high quality coil. It's really, really sturdy stuff. So I think $20 is a good price, by the way. Very interesting. So I'm going to backtrack just a little bit and I'll try not to do this too much throughout. But if you look side by side, and you know how I said that they like, I thought that maybe they would just take out the Christian God and then like it would be okay for all religions. This is what I was talking about. So basically on the how to use this daily faith planner uh, screenshot, in the Christian one, you can see that they have a like stylized verse from the Bible from 1 Corinthians. When you look at the same page in the faith one, that spot is just blank. And I mean, cool. That way you can put in like a quote or a verse that you feel more connected to. And let me be clear that this is like the same style of journal. It's the same personalized front quote thing. Everything is the same except that the one that I am looking at in addition now is the specific Christian one. So it does look like on that first page that they just kind of took out the Christian and which I mean, there's nothing really wrong with that, but it's just interesting. Um, so whenever you look at the beginning of the monthly, so on the faith version, the non-Christian version, you have important topics to reflect on this month. In the Christian version, you have important verses to reflect on this month. Again, they just took out the word verse and like changed it to topics. And I, I, like, it's basically their, their just watered down version of the Christian planner. I feel like you could have taken that whole thing and turned it into reflections for both. So instead, here's, here's what I think that they should have done. I think that they should have started out with a, and of course, like they already had the Christian version, so there's no way that you can go back in time, but here's how this could have been better. So you start out with the general faith planner without any Christian influence, and of course that's impossible because it's a, it's a mostly, I, I'm not gonna say it's a Christian company, but obviously they have a Christian version and an other version, so, it's going to be mostly Christian, which again, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Um, but I think that they, instead of going from Christian, okay, let's just take out all the Christian and then it'll be okay for others. I feel like they should have tried to start all the way at ground zero. That's weird. So to fix this in the overall like faith, non-Christian planner, I would just say reflection. Like reflect upon or something like that. Something that, cause it's just, it's weird, important topics to reflect on this month. Maybe like reflection word, reflect like monthly theme, something, something along that line. Yeah. It's just, it's, it reads weird. Okay. So now we have, let's do a comparison of looking back and looking ahead. So how the past three months went, how my relationship with my faith has changed or my God has changed and how my relationship with myself has changed. Um, so the only one that's different is the relationship one. And 
This is, okay, so what do I think about, again, this is like one of those weird things where like I would never use the word faith. Like how my relationship with my faith has changed. I don't have a relationship with my faith. Did they talk to non-Christians before putting this together? Because it's just weird. Like I would never use these words. And again, like this isn't made specifically for me. No planner is ever going to be specific to one person, but still, like, I feel like instead of how my relationship with my faith has changed, I think that you could take that out completely and almost, instead of relationship with my faith, with my spirituality, I would just say, like, how has my spiritual and or religious practice change. And again, some people have like issues with the word term religion. So I, I get why they went with faith instead of that. But I would just say like, how has my spiritual practice changed? Because I feel like that's a bit more all encompassing and I don't, I don't have a relationship like that. Uh, so that kind of stems from the whole idea of like God, the father you know, and having that sort of fatherly relationship with your deity, which some people in neo-paganism, in witchcraft and paganism, in other religions, they do have that, but not everyone does. So to call it a relationship just feels, it feels weird. Um, and then on the looking ahead, what goals I want to continue focusing on, what prayers I want to hold on to. Oh, they left that one the same. Interesting. Uh, how I want to continue to explore in my faith. That's the same in both as well. And new areas I want to explore in my faith. So that's the same too. The only, this page is actually the same in both of them, which is weird so like what prayers I want to hold on to I don't hold on to prayers like I don't really pray um if anything I would say what goals I want to continue focusing on like that one's good um maybe new goals I have in my spiritual practice or new habits new practices that I want to do um new areas of my spirituality that I want to look into, maybe instead of what I want to continue to explore in my faith. This is really wordy too. Like I feel like they have an issue with brevity. That's a lot of words. New areas I want to explore in my faith. Yeah, so they have like this little quad chart, which again, you can see here. Um, so they wanted four things here, which is fine. I could even say like what I learned could be a better quad to have in here. Yeah. I don't know, like it's not it's not a bad or what I hope to learn or maybe even like a planning section. I don't know. I feel like they're they they're lacking some brevity. I feel like this could have been edited down. But anyways, those two are the same. And then you just have a basic notes page. So they have, that's weird. Okay, so I'm looking at one of their example pages. And I don't know who wrote these. It's just so funny how vague it is. Um, so on the general faith planner, the non-Christian one, it has a page that you can see main goals for my faith, uh, the example that they have to have a more grounded belief in the good in the world, expand my knowledge and intuition, and to help those around me with their problems and faith. Who wrote that? Like who came up with that? I feel like that's more of a vision than a goal. Okay. Again, like the thing for the goals, I don't, I don't get why we need to keep going on and on about that. The goal thing I could like completely do without in here, like me, Maybe a vision or, I don't know, other faith-related goals. Like, you have three goals that aren't measurable in that top one. So, 
see things in a more positive light, trust that the universe has good things in store for us. I feel like they went to Pinterest and like typed in new age um, mantras and then came up with this. But okay. Um, <laughs> I just, uh, I just, uh, who did you, who did you talk to that's not a Christian before you put this together? Okay, so if you look at the Christian version, they actually have three different sections in here. And the first one is goals for my faith. I feel like those are actual goals. Be more active in the church. Uh, remember his words and teachings when I am struggling. Like, I feel like those are more measurable. Definitely to be more active in the church. Um, whereas, like, the goals that they had for the non-Christians are just nice words. Um, and then goals for my relationship with God. Um, again, yeah, that's fine. Other faith-related goals. And then they have, like, again. And then they have actual, like, measurable things that they can do, charity and volunteer work through the church, community outreach, church leadership. Like, why did you not go through and try to do the same thing for the non-Christian ones? Again, I, I get that you were trying to be all-inclusive, but by being all-inclusive, you're actually not saying anything at all. I feel like it would have been better for Aaron Condren in these example pages, which again, they don't have to show any of this stuff. So I, I, I'm saying all of this, I'm being critical, but I understand that they tried. Okay. Just cause you get an A for effort doesn't mean that you get an A overall though. And we all have room to grow. So I feel like Again, they just took out the goals for my relationship with God and expanded the main goals for my faith. Like, if you're going to have two boxes that don't mean anything, then just make the boxes blank. Like, don't even have goals for my faith in there. Like, let me use that how I want to use it. It's so... It's so strange because I feel like in this, I would almost want to create like a new moon ritual spot or a um, full moon ritual spot or like a healing solve recipe, something like that. It is kind of aggravating um, when people just think that other religions are watered down version of their own religious philosophies. And just, just to be clear, what I think that they could have done to actually make this look as though it's meant for other faiths is for each of these example pages that they have like showing it, like how you could fill this out. I feel like one of those examples could have been from a Muslim perspective. One could have been from a pagan perspective. One could have been from a Buddhist perspective. Like you could have varied these up some more. Um, not necessarily saying that you have to have that for each and every single one of these pages that you're doing, but just to show that like, this is something that people of these religions, of these spiritual practices could use. Because right now I'm looking at it and I'm like, I would never, I don't know who would use this like this. It just looks pointless because it's not saying anything. Or just leave it blank. <laughs> like, don't even fill it in. Um, so, in this next one, whenever we actually get to the daily pages, I like that these are undated. It makes total sense. All for that. Now, we have on the Christian version, it says today's verse. Great. On the non-Christian version, it says today's teaching or lesson. Again, this doesn't quite fit everyone. Um, I know for me personally, I do, like, even whenever I was practicing regularly, I wouldn't have, um, I wouldn't have a daily teaching or lesson. You might have a daily tarot card pull. You might have a daily reflection on your 
meditation and again I think that the term reflection like daily reflection daily message something like even message I think would be a really really good one so then they have my reflections on this teaching or even like daily action like my daily spiritual religious action like I think that that would actually be really really good um so my reflections on this teaching my reflections on this verse how I want to bring this teaching into my day versus how I want to walk in this verse today. Um, how I want to bring this teaching into my day. I, how I want to live this. I, I, it's just weird. Like, again, it's so daily action reflection on the action and then next steps and then daily gratitude of course I'm never gonna be mad at daily gratitude that's 100% all the way there um, and then if you look on the left hand page you can see a snippet and there is an issue on this page uh, the important dates that's fine um, skipping over this because I'm about to rant blank can receive faith from blank this week so I'm guessing like ways is this a weekly page no okay so that front that left page must be like the weekly dashboard and then you go into each day has its own verse I mean even for a Christian this is a hefty like spiritual practice for sure like this is gonna require some dedication in order to fill out all three months but, um, okay, so that left page is actually for weekly. That's cool. And then you have, like, it looks like a habit tracker. So let's jump back up to what I have an issue with. Blank can share my faith blank this week, I'm assuming. Um, that's great from a Christian perspective where they try to proselytize and convert people. So the problem with conversion is that it, it is based on the idea that your faith is automatically the correct one and it's better than that other person's faith or religion or spirituality. I've been reading this too much and I've got like faith stuck in my head now. Wrong. If that religion, if that spiritual practice does not do harm to other people, you best leave them the actual F alone. And I do not mean like harm as in like, oh, it goes against my God's rules. No, I'm talking about unless it actually like harms people, which by the way, you can argue that every religion in one practice or another does harm to someone. But like, why, why do Christians have to not all Christians, obviously, but like, and there, there are other faiths that do this as well that are very big about conversion, which is why I don't get it. Like if someone doesn't want to practice religion the same way as you or have the same God as you, let them do their thing. So anyway, that is like, actually, that's the one thing that, uh, would keep me from buying this. That is how much I am against proselytizing. And no, this channel is not proselytizing. I'm just sharing my own opinion on things with people who may or may not agree. So there you go. I don't care what religion, if any, you practice. Um, but yeah, so I mean, maybe I'm completely wrong. They cut off that part of the text, but Whew, that can that can make my blood boil. So then we move on to the next example where Yeah, they have daily prayer. Oh, so that's the thing. Okay, that makes sense. <gasps> oh Okay, all right, so I just figured something else out. So I went through this earlier obviously because I was very curious what was going to be in this planner. So I looked through it before I sat down to record and I thought that it was weird 
I thought that it was weird that under the daily gratitude, they had a dear Lord help me to realize when I am in need, in heed, need, who's writing this, in need of your assistance. And I'm like, who, who wrote that? That's not gratitude. That's like a request. That's a prayer. Um, and then on the other side, it says, thank you for listening to my prayer and for all your blessings. What? Like, I thought this was the non-Christian version. So I was super confused because I'm like, that's not daily gratitude. And also, if you look here, that is a lot of space for gratitude. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be grateful for that much, but yo, I'm not going to use that much space to do gratitude. Like, maybe a line or two. A lot of people just do one single word. I do try to write out a full sentence for gratitude, but man, that's a lot. So then I look at the Christian version and they basically like split this in half to where one side is daily prayer, which is where that dear Lord is. And then the other half is daily gratitude. Again, just because you take the Christian part out of it does not mean that it's suitable for other faiths, religions, whatever. <sighs> I'm sure that there's more in here that they're not like giving away because you know, they don't, they, y you need to have a little bit of a surprise and they don't want you to just go and recreate what they have. And overall, this isn't bad. Um, I honestly think that there's enough space in here to where you could make it your own. The font itself is very, very light in color, so it would be easy to cover up with a sticker. I don't ever have a problem with that. Again, no planner is ever, no planner is ever going to be perfect for you, for each and every single individual. So there will always have to be some form of personalization that needs to go into it. However, this planner has a lot of room to grow if they do actually want to be inclusive of other faiths and take those other faiths seriously and not just religion minus Christianity, um, not just watered down Christianity. So this, again, this is, it's hard. It's hard to do something that is so all inclusive. I get that. The other idea of it is that I don't know if this was even created with neo-pagans or Wiccans or people of non-traditional faiths in mind. I definitely feel like they reached into some of that new age language, some of the spirituality language to try and make it more all-inclusive, but they weren't actually thinking about us. And again, that's fine. I don't need them to make a planner for me. I can make my own planner. Um, but this might have been something that I was interested in until I just kind of looked through it a bit more in depth. I don't know. I will definitely be interested to see what else they come out with in the future. I genuinely hope that the next version of this planner has a bit more oomph to it, that they actually look at people of other faiths, of Muslim faith, Jewish, Hindu, Buddhist, what am I? Neo-pagan, like other faiths. And I mean, there's plenty more than that. And just ask them, like, what do you actually want? Because looking at this, I don't think that they did that. Or if they did, they got those answers and then didn't look at them. So it, 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 I'm not going to say don't buy this because it's stinking cute and I feel like you could you could definitely personalize it to have it fit your personal spiritual religious faith journey. And I know that with it being Erin Condren it's high quality for sure. Like not going to knock that at all. And I want us to support that they are trying to diversify. I want to support that but I just want them to try a little bit harder, if that makes sense. Editing Candace here. I just wanted to add on to the fact that I don't think I mentioned this quite enough. There are tons of like spirituality, new age, Wiccan, pagan types of 
planners and journals that are in existence today. You can get a daily tarot planner. You can get a moon planner. Like there's so many that exist. I've personally never used any of them. Um, so I'm not going to link any down below because I haven't used them myself. Um, and I haven't delved deep enough into them, but they do exist on the market. So if you're looking for something specific to you, I highly suggest like reaching out to local um, Facebook groups and seeing what other people have used. Always read the reviews before you spend your hard earned money. Um, but those things do exist for us and it's good to also support those small businesses and those small artists and creators. So I wanted to make sure to put that out there. I'm pretty sure that they have the same thing for other religions. However, Aaron Condren, um, the reason why I wanted to go ahead and focus in on this planner specifically is because it's it's kind of a big deal whenever a mainstream planner company like this comes out with something that is for other faiths and not specific to Christians, especially whenever they have mainly catered to Christians in the past. I think that it is a great move for our society moving to toward secularism. Um, I am a firm believer in secularism in everything. So uh, yeah, I think that that's it on that. Oh, also, you can always grab a blank bullet journal and create your own spiritual planner and make it perfect for you. So. I hope that this all made sense. I hope that I wasn't like too crabby um, or like just overly critical. I tried to call out things that I liked, but um, I'm kind of bad at that sometimes just because in general, I, I was taught at a young adult age that people know what they're doing right. Just tell them what they're doing wrong so that they can fix it, um, which isn't great all the time, but it's a habit that I'm breaking out of. Anyway, that is enough rambling. I hope that you liked this. If you don't and you thumbs down it, just let me know why. Like, leave me a comment and um, then maybe I can be better next time too. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I talk about books, spirituality, um, religion, and now planning. So yeah, have a magical day.